Dave and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Another bit of Savata kit. Now this is the Savata Volt Top Stuff Sack made out of 500D Cordura and I think they call it the, the Savata Roll Top Stuff Sack 500 Denier. Nice bit of kit and there's a couple of reasons I've bought this. But first of all, we'll just go through the specs, sizes, what's on it, just nice and quick and easy. First of all, I'll show you the inside. We've got a nice coating on there. So it's going to be fairly tough and waterproof. And when I said waterproof, the material is waterproof. But where they've got the stitching coming down the sides of the pack, down here, that's not seam sealed or tape sealed. So given time, water will regress through the stitching. So it's not really for dunking under water, leaving it there to keep your food fresh and etc. It's just mainly to protect stuff you want to carry either inside or outside your pack. Now I got the 40 litre one and it comes in four different sizes. So the specs for the 40 litre, it weighs in at 355 grams. Dimensions are 52 centimetres wide by 85 centimetres deep or in length. And there's a 60 litre, which weighs 430 grams, which is 58 wide by 95 in length. Then there's the 80 litre, and that is 535 grams and dimensions are 30, uh, 64 wide by 105 in length and 120 litre which is 650 grams in weight and it's a 72 centimeters wide by 115 centimeters in length now it comes in a green or black the ribbon as i say is 100 percent polyester we've got the side release buckles on it which i'll give you a demo with them this one nice strong block so that's not going to come undone we have some d-rings beside the buckles so you can either hang it from there or hang anything from the d-rings it's roll top closing on it you're just going to be folding it over so you make it as short or as deep as you need there's a five-year manufacturer and material warranty on it the waterproof coating they've got on there here they said if you use it as they do I believe eventually it will wear off and you will get water ingress now there's two main reasons I bought this one when I'm hiking on the Bibbulm track and there's a couple of uh, river crossings easy and I wanted something my pack would fit in so if I was crossing there and I did either fall or I dropped my pack it actually be protected so in that instance if this rolled over a couple of times with a pack in I'd get no water in my pack and I doubt if I'd get any water inside this and the other reason is at times when I'm out hiking bushwalking and doing multi days out there I use a bivy and all I prefer to do is with my bivy I like to roll it all up so I've got my sleep mat in there I've got my sleep bag in there I've got my pillow in there and just all roll that in the bivy and I put it either on the inside if the pack's large enough or on the outside with the uh, Savata medium for example this can go on the bottom or on the top it will be able to I won't need to put it inside however another reason call me pedantic or what I don't like buying a pack and then the company not make um, accessories for the pack so but it puts me off when I've got one colour here and have to put another colour on to protect something else. 
I like the idea of having the main pack by this the company and having something like this, uh, the roll sack to carry my gear in on the bottom of the pack on the outside in the same color. So it just looks like it's meant to be. So that's why I like the idea of this. Okay, I've got the FDF sleep mat here from Savata. That's actually bigger than my bivy and sleeping bag for the general summer use or the normal use in between. The winter use, it'll probably be about this size. So one of the reasons, like I said, is to carry it all on in the pack, have it uh, on the outside of the pack, have it protective and all looking the same. So that has taken up about three quarters of the roll sack, the stuff sack. So now if I just roll that up, roll down the top, close that up and get some straps around to strap it on. That means my sleep system is going to be protected. So if it rains or my puncher doesn't go far enough down, this is going to be protected from uh, the, the rain. Also going through the bush, it's going to protect uh, the, I'll call it the swag because that's the sleep system. It'll uh, protect the swag from getting abrasions or getting ripped or getting caught. So if anything does get ripped, it'll be the stuff sack which i very much doubt it will this will go through what well, it'll last for years like i said there's a five year warranty on it so i'd rather replace the actual stuff sack than all the whole sleep system if it gets caught and ripped so at least if this does get ripped there's a chance the actual uh, bivy on the inside is going to be okay so i'm still going to be protected from the elements like i said the other thing is to fit my pack in here now at the moment my pack is the Savata Yakri medium it's loaded out for three days bushwalking it's not got all the biggest stuff it's got the smaller lightweight gear it's got the snug pack jungle bag it's got a sea to summit sleep mat in there it's got a trekology pillow uh, it's got the where, where are we the special forces uh, bivy bag is inside the pack at the moment so if i was using this setup i'd put it in here if i've got the water crossings so let's show you what it looks like when it's in here and how much extra you've got so you know you're going to be nice and secure so here's the bag empty and there's the sorota yakri medium i've already pulled the wet hip belt around the front here to keep it secure out of the way and stop it catching. But just a bit on there, you see we've got three or four, maybe five rolls we can get to make it watertight and protect everything. already with the Savata medium in there without any pouches on the outside and like I said I've brought the hip belt around to make it a little bit more um, slimline. The shoulder straps are still loose here they just caught a little bit putting it in there but the roll top is up here 
if I start rolling that, we've got one turn, I've actually got the air out, two, three, four. So and I'm sure I could have made that five if I needed to by pushing the pack down. But I've got air in there, I could have squeezed out too. But that's with the Savata Yakri medium in there. So now if I'm doing a river crossing, I'm gonna turn on my shoulder, walk over, and if it falls in, my pack and gear is protected. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. And if you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the like button and click the notification bell and select all so you can be notified of all future videos. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.